What is up? Daniel here with the Virtual Robotics Studio, and we are back again with another video. This time, we're going to assemble and then attach our battery mount into our robot. Before we get started, though, another special thanks to FIRST and Argosy Foundation for making this all possible. All right, let's check out some of the pieces we need. Really, it's just from that AndyMark 1-4-U-5 box, um, the blue box. We need our two bumper pieces, so we got this big uh, plate here and our other kind of weird plate. They both got the extra tabs bent up. Uh, and then there's a bag of hardware for it, and I think it's even labeled Hardware Pack for AM14U5 Family Vertical Battery, so look for that bag. And then I think we're just going to need our normal 3 8 inch wrench uh, and 5 30 seconds Allen wrenches, handled or not, as you see fit. And then there is a little small set of bolts that hold the battery connector on. So for that one, I think we need a 5 16 wrench and a quarter inch. So I'm going to use a quarter inch socket for that. I've also got the 3 8 socket because that's going to make putting some of these churros in a little bit faster and easier. All right, let's move the robot out of the way and we'll get started assembling our battery mount. All right, so first things first, let's, uh, let's open this bag up. And we got, that's the strap to hold the battery down. We need our two churro pieces first. And then inside this bag, we need, there should be four of those self-tapping screws that we used for the churros on the frame earlier. So we did that in some earlier steps. Um, but they'll be the big headed ones, hex head with that uh, flat slot in the middle. Um, and they should be about the right size to fit inside here. And let's see, if we take a look at, I guess we'll, we'll start with this plate with the big three circles on it. This is our bottom plate. The battery is going to end up sitting here uh, on this plate. And on one side, we have four holes. They're a little bit smaller. And the other side, we have two bigger holes. Of course, we have the three giant holes. But these two bigger holes are where we're going to attach this stuff. So our bolts are going to come up through there. And our churro is going to attach here. Um, and in order to do this, of course, we need a half inch wrench to hold the churro, which I need to grab. And the other side is a 3 8 uh, in order to um, tighten that bolt in. So, oops. You can just go again if you have a, a drill that you want to use for this, you can. Uh, we've only got a few of them to put in, so we'll go ahead and do these ones by hand here. Let's get it on that end. There we go. And these ones, I think you can make them all the way tight. If we have any trouble getting stuff lined up later, um, we'll just loosen them up and then retighten them if we have to. Okay, so same thing on the other big hole. Okay, then let's get oriented for the next step. So this again is going to be on the bottom. This is the top section of it. There's the tab here, and there are a couple slots in, in this. And then next to those slots are two more quarter inch sized holes. So those will line up perfectly with the two churros that we just put in. So that is our next step, is we're going to drive these in down from the top like this. And you might not even need the half inch wrench since we tighten the bottom in. Um, if it's spinning on you, then go ahead and grab that half inch wrench. And I'm going to get this one going, I don't know, about halfway in. Then I'll do the other one just to make sure they're both in before we tighten them down. Okay, my churro is spinning on me, so I'll add the wrench now. Okay, that one's good. Let's do this other one. A 
almost there. All right. Those two are in. <clears throat> now, actually, our next step is to put this into the robot. So save the rest of the pieces that we have. Um, and let's go bring the robot back so we can attach this to it. All right, so this is going to attach on one of our front or back pieces here. And the small tabs are going to be on top, and they're going to go on top of the plate or on top of the, the end channel. And then the plate is going to go underneath the bottom of it. So we're going above and below this piece. Um, but here's the thing. We can attach it on this side, or we can attach it on this side. And it works fine on either side, and there isn't necessarily a recommended side to put it. The key is going to be, if you're just building the robot, um, the base robot here, and not adding anything else to it, then I would suggest adding it on this side, um, the back of the robot. The idea here is that on the front of the robot, we have the extra motors, we have some of that extra weight up there, so putting the battery on the back kind of evens the weight out a little bit. If you're adding some additional stuff. Maybe you have something to help hang at the end on the chains. You might need all of this space back here to attach and, and mount that, in which case you're going to want to attach your battery on the other side. So we're going to go ahead in this video and attach it on the back, but you can just plan ahead. If you know you're going to need the space for something else, you can do that. You might also be able to put it back here and still attach stuff on the sides, and so it's not in your way, and you can still build more stuff above it. So you'll just have to make a decision there. And we want this battery to be roughly in the center of the robot. Keeps our weight balance good. So the way I do it is I kind of guess where the center is, and then I'm going to count my way in here. So one whole, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's one extra hole on one side. And that's perfect. So you should have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten empty holes on one side and nine empty holes on the other. And let's dig into our little thing here. We've got these half inch um, 1032 bolts and we've got some nylock nuts to go along with them. So those should drop just through all of these holes on top. We'll do all four holes on top first. And let's see, we need our 3 8 wrench. And I'll use the handled Allen wrench for this one. So we just got to reach in here and get these all started. And these are slightly different than the nylocks we've been using before. They're skinnier. Um, so they're low profile ones. It just means there's going to be less metal threads before you start cutting into the, into the nylon. And that's fine. So I'm just going to get them all started. And then we'll grab the wrench and tighten them up. Okay, we should be able to, I think we'll have enough, um, enough flexibility to be able to adjust the bottom after the fact. Just to make sure that the bottom holes also will line up. And worst comes to worst, if they don't line up, then we'll just come back to the top and loosen these up a little bit. And then be able to put the bottom ones in. So let's tighten all four of these down. Good. All right. And then I think I'm going to flip it on its side here. And these holes we should be able to get to line up on the bottom as well. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the bolts up from the bottom because uh, I want kind of the nice smaller profile bolt head here sticking up. I don't want any of the extra. Like if we went this direction, um, I think you end up with more bolts sticking down than the bolt head would take up. And since it's on the bottom of the robot and it could rub on stuff or catch on stuff, we just want to keep it as smooth as possible down there. All right. So there are the four for that. And same thing. We'll go ahead and get all of these started.
and now we can go through and tighten them all down. And the last one. Okay, let's tip this back up. <clears throat> All right, that looks pretty good. One thing I wanna do before I go any farther though is let me grab a battery and see if it fits inside of the battery mount. So this should fit inside. It might have a little bit of room to move around, that's okay. If that bothers you, you might be able to put some, some tape or some other material in there, but that looks pretty good to me. As long as you can get it in and take it out right now, that's what we're looking for. All right, so now we have one more bit that we can attach in this step, and that is the battery strap. And the way the strap is gonna work is it's gonna kinda of be attached here through these slots and then it needs to come around and have something else to attach to, to lock it in place. So we need to build that on the other side here. Um, and so for that, we're looking for these round standoffs. There's a little plate in there. And then the longer bolts, there are two of these longer bolts. And the idea here is we're gonna go through the plate, through the standoff, uh, we'll do that, I guess I'll do that on both sides. I'll try to do both sides at once. So through the plate, through the standoff. And then this, we basically wanna line up with that slot. So if we come right back from that slot, um, you can kinda see, you know, we're lined up on both sides. So we're centered to where that slot is. And we're gonna do it on the inside row of holes. So the row of holes closest to the slot where we're gonna attach other stuff. And then we should have two more of those nylock nuts. These are still number 10 bolts, they're just longer. So we'll go ahead and tighten those on now. Get both sides started again. There it is. All right, and let's tighten these down. looks good. So now we're going to take this Velcro strap and essentially what you want to do is, well, I guess you could do it either way. We can go down through the hole and then up through the strap or you can go up through the strap and then through the hole. But we have to make sure that when we're done, it's going to end up going onto the battery like this. So we need the fuzzy part to be facing out. So I think the easiest way is I'm gonna go down through the hole with the fuzzy part facing out. And then we'll go back up through the notch. Oh, nope, that's upside down. Okay, one more try. <laughs> All right, so go down through the hole with the fuzzy part facing in, facing towards the other side. Okay, then we go back up through this. And that just goes nice and tight around that slot. And then, when it comes time to put the battery in, right, you'll be able to drop the battery in like this. This strap then will go down through this area here. You can pull it tight on that, bring this up and around, and that Velcro strap will stop it from falling out. Okay, so the, the strap is in and ready to go. There are two more bolts and two more uh, little nuts in here. And this post right here has space to attach a connector for the battery. Since we don't have that connector yet, and I don't wanna lose these, what I'm gonna do is 
put them in the holes where they're going to go. Actually, they're going to go this way, but it doesn't really matter right now. And just go ahead and start the nut on there um, so that we won't lose them. Alternative to this would be put it back in the bag and then put that bag somewhere you're not going to lose it. But this is where they're going to go, but we'll get to it later. All right, that is it. The battery is now, or the battery mount is now installed in the robot. So we should be ready to go and cut and attach our electrical board in the next video. But before we go, we're going to give one more special thanks to First and Argosy Foundation for making this all possible.